Hi, I'm David, and I'm an ecologist. What's an ecologist, though? We study all the living things that live in different places and how they interact with each other and with us. When things like buildings, railways or roads get built, it's our job to protect these living systems and to see if we can even make them better. The places where plants and animals live are called habitats. We are going to visit some of the habitats that my ecologist's friends have been studying and see what animals they can find. Hmm, where shall we go first? How about the pond? Hi, my name is Yan Yi. I'm an ecologist and I found some newts. Newts are amphibians, which means they live in the water and on land. We catch them in these traps so we can count them. But don't worry, it doesn't hurt them. This one is a male smooth newt. Look at his lovely belly. Wow, a newt. Well done, Yan Yi. Let's go to the woods where Rory is looking for mammals. Hi, my name is Rory and I'm also an ecologist. Look, it's a bank foal. Bank foals are very important in many habitats because they eat the seeds of plants and then they often get eaten by larger animals like foxes. The plants get their energy from the sun, so voles are part of a food chain, starting with the sun and ending with the fox. That bowl is so cute! Be careful handling wild animals. Rory is an expert. My friend Eleni is looking for another mammal in the woods. Hi, my name is Eleni and I'm looking for bats with a device called a bat detector. Bats make sounds that they use at night to find their way and to hunt insects. We can't hear them, so we use special devices, otherwise it's hard to find bats in the dark. Did you know that bats are the only mammals that can truly fly? Some bats live in trees. There might be some sleeping in this crack. Or in this one. Or in this woodpecker or squirrel holes. Have you ever seen a bat? If you have, you're very lucky. Let's take a look at what animals you can find in meadows. Hi, I'm Vicky and I work as an ecologist too. I also love spending time in the garden looking for invertebrates, which is a fancy word for insects or bugs. Meadows like this one are a really important habitat for invertebrates, thanks to the wildflowers which provide lots of pollen. Around the world there are 17,000 different species of butterfly, 20,000 species of bee and more than 400,000 different types of beetle. And that's just the ones we know about. Why don't you see what bugs you can find in your garden or out on a walk with your family? Hmm, what else can you find in grassland? Hi, I'm Matthew and I'm an ecologist. Here in England, reptiles like to live in areas with lots of long grass, like this one. This is so they can hide away from predators and come out and lie in the sun when it's safe to warm up. But some reptiles like to live in water, like crocodiles, alligators and turtles. And some live in rainforests and deserts, like chameleons. Chameleons can change colour to talk to each other and to help them hide. Let's take a look what you can find in the river. Remember to be careful going near water. Make sure a grown-up is with you. Hi. My name is Annabelle, but you can call me Annie. My job is to help to identify and protect populations of fish. I'm going to look in a river, but freshwater fish are found in lakes and streams too. Can you help me count the trout? Whew, that was a lot of trout to count. How many did you get? Thanks for helping me count the trout today. There's another type of animal that lives in all these places. Can you guess? It's birds. Hello, I'm Joe and I'm an ecologist and I specialise in birds. Around the world, there are over 10,000 species of birds. Birds are found in every continent, even Antarctica. Birds don't just nest in trees. Some birds, such as ducks and geese, build their nests at the edge of lakes and rivers. Some birds even build their nests in riverbanks and underground. Wow, what a lot of amazing animals the ecologists have found. 
Which was your favourite? I'm Kate and I'm an ecologist too. Ecologists help look after all the important plants and animals found on our planet. We're always trying to protect biodiversity. Biodiversity is a fancy word for how many living things there are in an area. This is super important for the health of the planet. Maybe one day you could become an ecologist too and help make a better, more diverse world. Maybe make a start now. Go and see what interesting plants and animals you can find near you. Good luck.